all are you all fine okay all right so welcome everybody i am shekhar suman ceo and managing director at biotechnica and today we have all gathered together live on facebook youtube as well as on biotechnica's platform to discuss about how to study in this lockdown i'm sure all of you are very panicked right every day 150 plus people are falling sick due to coronavirus covid-19 right this is a really tough time for humanity for all of us and what i want you to do is stay focused in these times so a lot of um things we are going to share today with all of you which will help you understand how to stay focused when there are a lot of things going wrong around us okay and that's very very crucial for all of you so let us get started now for my audience on youtube and facebook do like and share this live stream with all your friends and comment in the live chat section we have a exclusive team of six experts right now in chat with you so whatever questions you have feel free to ask us and we will be right there to answer you now apart from that i'll be joined by three more experts at biotechnica who would be answering all your queries and also they'll be sharing their thoughts and their tips and tricks and shortcuts which we have already uh, you know advertised on biotechnica and we have told you via emails and whatsapps and facebooks that we are going to do a really power packed webinar today and only one request that you will have to stay till the end now if you stay in this webinar till the end i have a lot of free downloads and goodies which i want to give to you all of you so that like this webinar it start, has started at 7 o'clock and we will try to wind it up by 9 9:15 however i urge you all to stay till the end so that we can share the free downloads and i'll be telling you what are those free downloads those are really amazing things which we have designed for all of you exclusively which will be given free of cost to all of you so let's get started shall we okay so i have made a small presentation for all of you let me go this full screen okay so i hope my screen is visible right now is it all right so i'll minimize my window i'll be somewhere in the bottom okay now how to prepare for csr net or for that matter any exam when the toughest or i should say the biggest challenge humanity has ever faced is around us you will say sir this is not at all possible it's really really difficult to focus on studies at this juncture where every few hours somebody dies because of coronavirus covid 19 or something wrong goes happens right so very very important thing here is you have to learn from the experts how to focus how to stay motivated how to stick to your syllabus syllabus and schedule then only you can ace through and come out victorious once this lockdown is over we all know so far that 14th of april would be the last date of lockdown we don't know it may extend it may not extend so far the government is denying that it will not extend but what if it extends whatever it is i am going to give you certain mantras which will help you to ace through and study properly during this exam so let us get started with today's agenda is to join the experts in discussion for how to prepare in the next 85 days now this is not a ordinary 85 days if it was a ordinary 85 days i would have told you okay go and watch our previous videos and you will get a lot of tips and tricks but hey no this is these are very very crucial 85 days because a lot is happening around us right and that is why you must attend this webinar till the end now i'm going to share and of course all our experts are going to share essential tips and tricks okay essential tips and tricks will be given to all the aspirants plus there are six experts right now online in chat in live chat go ahead and ask your queries 
Go ahead and ask your queries, whatever comes in your mind, and we will try to answer each query of yours till the end. That's a promise. Now, we're also going to talk about some shortcuts on how to prepare for important units. I'll be taking a motivational session to pump up your spirits. Let me tell you, many people downplay motivation. They say motivation is not needed. It's just a chemical reaction in your hypothalamus. That's not correct. If that was the case, then why our Prime Minister Modi ji had to ask everybody to come out on that lockdown day on Sunday and uh, uh, you know, uh, say thank you to all the doctors. It was to pump up the motivation of the doctors, right? All the healthcare workers so that they feel motivated and do their good job. Same way, if you want to do a good job, then you need motivation. Remember, motivational mind, a, a motivated mind beats talent any day. No matter how talented you are, a motivated mind can reach miles ahead if it is motivated so that's what i'm going to talk about today of course we are going to talk and give you 10 free flow charts in fact not 10 i'll give you 11 free flow charts and these flow charts are specially designed by our experts and students who have gone through and studied those concepts on various important topics let's say that dna replication or rna multiplication whatever may be the topic we have designed amazing colorful flowcharts for all of you, which will be in a PDF format, which you can download and you can print and keep it in your, on your study table, table to recall faster. Now, these are also a part of the Conceptica book, which we have been always talking about. Now, apart from that, we also will be giving you the Mission 2020 ebook. We will be giving you the master plan timetable and do's and don'ts for the CSIR net exam so the all this will be given at the end per, but for the first two hours you have to pay attention to all the thoughts all the motivational values all the things which we have to share to you today because today is the day which will define how you act in the next 25 days 85 days and achieve your goal remember your success is our achievement and your research is our responsibility and that is why biotechnica stands for with you in these trying times of coronavirus COVID-19. So let's get started, my dear friends. As you can see on your screen, motivation is nothing but fire, okay? You have seen fire, right? How it spreads. Motivation is nothing but fire. Today, I'm going to ignite a small fire in your mind and your heart and your soul. And that fire is going to help you study better and efficiently, okay? Now, how do you exactly start a fire? So you need a matchstick, right? You have to use a matchstick to start a fire. This webinar we are targeting as the matchstick which will ignite the fire of motivation inside you so that you just forget whatever is happening around you and just focus on your studies. Okay, this webinar is going to do that for you. Now, how do you start a, uh, a fire? You have to start a small fire to start a bigger fire. That means you have to light a, light a matchstick and then put it in the uh, firewood and then only it catches fire, right? The same way we are going to use this webinar as the most important thing here to ignite your mind, ignite your soul so that you are motivated and you start working in this direction. Now, next few hours, I want you to focus and stay motivated. It will ignite a bigger fire of motivation for you to succeed, to achieve your achieve the impossible, to defeat the lockdown, to defeat COVID-19, be productive and get better results. Okay. Now, let me talk to you about a principle we call it as an 80 20 principle or a Pareto principle that means if 20 percent of if you are putting in 100 percent of your inputs today only 20 percent will have the major impact or the 80 percent impact on your results on on the exam day okay so we don't know which 20 percent and that is why Pareto principle is very very important you need to have the right 20 percent input or effort so that you can get 80 percent better results than your competitors motivation is one such ingredient so let's talk about our biggest motivator okay so the biggest motivator of the world you know what it is it is death and today the world fears death coronavirus is spreading everywhere okay whether it is a small village or the superpower america it is everywhere right so world fears death and coronavirus is spreading everywhere now is the time that world will realize the importance of life sciences okay so now the world will be motivated enough to respect your field 
and invest in your field. So the right time for life sciences is going to be just after the lockdown or maybe one, one year or one and a half year after the lockdown when people will actually realize, okay, we must spend and invest in life sciences. We must spend and invest in pharma companies, biotech companies and public and uh, you know private healthcare spending will shoot through the roof. And that is where more demand for people like you is going to happen. That means the scope of this field, the employment opportunities in this field is going to increase. And that means you must be better prepared for all these opportunities which exist today and which will exist in future. Now, I have always persisted that biosciences is the savior of humanity. Biosciences is the field which is going to not just save all of us, but also it is a field which will never go down. Okay, This field is a recession-proof field. And now that the world has woken up to its importance, a lot of people are going to invest money and a lot of new opportunities are going to come up. And I want you to be ready for these opportunities. So today, to succeed in today's world, you have to be hungry for knowledge. Okay, You have to be hungry for skills. You have to create a vision of yourself 10 years from now okay and you have to live in that vision every day okay so let us create a vision for you now suppose 20 years from today what you want to become okay and then start thinking about that every day start acting that way take steps in that direction and eventually you will get there that is what is the need of today so you need to have a lot of knowledge, you need to gain a lot of knowledge, you need to have a lot of skill set and you need to create a vision for yourself. I've always told you this in all my previous webinars, live interactions as well as videos. So next step would be now tell yourself a true lie, tell yourself a lie today. Okay, let's say that 20 years from now, I'm going to win the Nobel Prize. Okay. So if that has to happen, imagine that today it has already happened. I have won a Nobel Prize or you have won a Nobel Prize. So what I should have done 20 years ago that today I should have won that Nobel Prize. Take those steps. And that is why I told you here, you need to be hungry for knowledge. You need to be hungry for skills. You need to have, you have to create a vision and vision is nothing but a lie. Today it's a lie, tomorrow it's a truth. So create that vision here in your mind that you are going to be the best and biggest and the most, world's mo most renowned researcher. And if that has to happen, you have to tell yourself this vision, this lie. And so if you want to make that lie a truth, what you need to do? What are the steps you need to take? CSIR net or gate or any such entrance examination is just a stepping stone towards your PhD. And after that, the real path opens up. Okay, this is just a speed breaker or a hurdle, right? So what you have to do in this lockdown is focus. Okay, switch off all the mobile phones. Okay, switch off all the TV, Hindi channels, English channels, whatever it is. Okay, I know the numbers will increase. You have to make up your mind. You have to make up your mind that these are going to happen. But if you're staying at home and focusing on your studies, no coronavirus can catch you as long as you're taking precautions, washing your hands, keep social distance, don't go out, just study. This is the best time to study because no visitor is coming to your house, no guest is gonna come. Nobody can invite anybody to their house, right? So all we need is to stay focused, right? If you're staying alone or staying with family, it doesn't matter. What you have to do is first create that vision in your, in your mind, tell yourself that lie and start working in that direction. And this lockdown is a blessing in disguise. So what are you waiting for? Utilize this adversity as an opportunity and you will see things will eventually fall in place. You know, we always regret because we can only connect the dots backwards, right? So we always regret, regret had I studied that time, I, I would not have failed this time, right? So what happens is after six months, I don't want you to regret. And that is why I don't want you to waste your time in all the gossip which is happening around coronavirus and COVID-19. Okay. You will not catch it as long as you're sitting at your desk and studying. Okay. Let's move on. Next. Now keep your eyes on the price. What is your price right now? Your price is CSIR net exam. So if you have to qualify CSIR net exam, that's the price. Now keep your eye on that price. Just forget everything. 
forget that there is COVID-19 or coronavirus. That will anyways be there. Whether you watch the news channel or you don't watch the news channel, it will always be there. Correct? Now, if it will be always be there, then that means whether I watch it or not, okay, somebody is anyways going to tell me if it becomes really lethal, right? Somebody will give me a phone call saying that, hey, you have to really take precautions because it has reached your house now. But that won't happen. But I'm just giving you an example. So you have to keep your eyes on the price. Close your eyes from all other things. Your sense organs should only be responsive, responsive to two words. CSIR, net. Okay. That's very, very important. You have to be that Arjun whose target is the fish. No, eye of the fish. So if you're targeting for a JRF, go for it. And you have to focus on that every day. Stop watching those news channels. Stop reading those newspapers. They are simply creating a sense of fear. Fear is nothing but illogical conclusion of something which might happen in future. Right? But logically, if you study today, nothing can happen. Nothing can happen to you. Only CSR net qualification will happen to you six months later. Okay? You have to learn to sweat in peace. Coronavirus lockdown is actually peace, right? Forget the TV channels. Okay, let's switch that off. After that, you can you can see here nobody is around me, right? Because I'm at peace. Nobody is around. Same with you. Nobody is around except your family. And what your family wants? Your family wants you to succeed. So definitely they will not disturb you, right? Make them understand that you need to study these many hours. And they will be right there with you, providing everything, lunch, breakfast, dinner on your desk. All you need is learn to sweat in peace. Am I right? You have to just learn. Start sweating in peace. This is the time. These 85 days, nobody can take that from you. No coronavirus or no friend or no news channel can take that from you. Stop worrying about what will happen tomorrow. Start thinking about your vision 20 years from today. The world will not end because of coronavirus. But definitely you will waste your 85 days or 80 days from today wasting thinking about what is going to happen next. All that is gossip. Pure gossip. Stop. Stop indulging into pure gossip around coronavirus. Okay. Now you have to make up your mind. You have to understand that whether the count today is 1300 or 13,000 doesn't matter. You have to just focus on one thing. That is your studies. Okay. Your parents, your well-wishers, your friends are anyways watching TV and they'll let you know if the, you know, the number of infected people or number of deaths really goes through the roof. They will anyways tell you. But simply watching TV and demotivating yourself and not spending time with your books is taking a toll on your time and your on your mental health as well. Okay. In the absence of mental clarity, you are going to take wrong decisions. You have to utilize this lockdown time perfectly. By that means, please download an app, which we all must do. There is an app called as any.do. Okay. Now, any.do is an app you can download and put in your plan every day, night, eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Put in what time you're going to study what or what time you're going to revise what. It will just give you a mobile reminder as soon as the time comes and then switch to what you're supposed to do. Plan your day, execute your plan. I'll repeat this. Plan your day, execute your plan. That is how you learn to sweat in peace. And that's how you can utilize this lockdown perfectly. Stop wasting time on all other things. Now, preparing for competitive exam, I have told you hundreds of times about this. This is a different ball game. Many people get confused that, okay, this is just another exam. It's not another exam, okay? And uh, so far, many people are saying, or it may happen that the June exam may get postponed by a few days because of this uh, lockdown. But definitely, the December exam will not move a needle from its day. Start focusing on the exam. And understand this is not a general university exam. Okay. Self study. If you are a very smart guy, agreed that you can do self study and score a first rank. You may, it, it may happen to you, but not everybody. Most of us are average mediocre students. Are we not? 
not all of us are toppers okay biotechnica doesn't stand only for the toppers we stand for everybody whether you have 1000 rank in gate or whether you have the first rank in csn it doesn't matter we stand for all of you and that is why i want to tell you csir net is a different ball game this exam is called the mother of all exams i am not here to scare you but i am here to tell you the truth that this exam requires special practice this re exam requires special strategy and requires a different approach from a regular exam regular exams have a pass marks if you score above the pass marks you qualify if you score below the pass marks you may not qualify but here your rank is also decided by how others perform in this race okay so the vision which you created earlier which i was talking suppose you created a vision that you want to become the uh, you know nobel prize winner 20 years from now that cannot happen if you do not qualify the exams like this and stand out from the crowd now these exams cannot be achieved by only mugging formula or concepts okay just remembering what is you know uh, van der waal forces or anything you know it's not going to solve my, my, uh, michaelis menten equation just remembering the formula is not enough applying it how it is derived how it is implemented all those things you need to know so that is why we always say do not jump in without expert guidance and that's very very important here preparing for competitive exam is no big deal if you are jumping in along with the expert if you if let me give you example if you have to do skydiving if you are very confident you can okay wear a parachute jump from the plane but will you not take expert guidance csir net is just like skydiving okay skydiving you should never do without experts same way with the, you should never prepare for csir net exam without expert guidance it can get lethal unless you are exceptionally out of the world which i am sure none of us are okay we all are average people who are just trying to be extraordinary right now now with the online nta exam you know this it, coming it requires smarter strategy you know uh, i was just listening into some uh, students who have shared their views earlier uh, with biotechnica and also on different social media channels they say that it was very difficult to navigate it in between one question to other okay that happens only because you were new to the interface that's not a knowledge problem okay nta exam is the for the first time when you gave the exam it was not a knowledge problem more of that it was a interface problem because you were like okay where i should click to go to part c where i should click to come back to part a where i should click to look at okay how many questions i have answered right so that kind of a confusion ate up at least 10 minutes of a lot of you i don't want that to happen and that is why we have very special strategy for all of you coming up now what i wanted to tell you here is why i showed you this this slide because i want you to simplify your life now how do you simplify your life and why you should simplify your life now if we do not simplify our life if we make it complicated okay now for example suppose i had to wear this shirt now if i have to wear this shirt i have to take a decision about this shirt whether i should wear a dark shirt or a light color shirt right now whatever might be the color we i want to choose now if i do not simplify my life if i waste my time on what color shirt i should wear i'll not be you know focused enough in this webinar telling you what i should be actually telling you correct same way if it is hard to be aggressive with your studies when you are confused okay when there are a lot of things happening around for example your mom will ask what you want to want to have for breakfast your uh, wife will ask okay what do you want to have for uh, snacks now all these confusions creates you know a lack of focus you need to simplify your life just tell them okay whatever you feel like please uh, uh, you know hand it over to me i'll eat i don't have any spe uh, specific instructions just let me focus on what i want to do and that is my vision okay now it is very hard to take right decisions when you're distracted right and that's what is happening right now with all of you you all are distracted you all are looking at the tv okay if uh, uh, the camera was it was possible to reverse i would have uh, shown you there is a tv in front of me but i have switched it off 
I don't watch any news channels anymore. Okay, sometime but when something really happens, somebody will tell me from Biotechnica, okay, this happened. Okay, fine. But my focus right now is to make sure that all my students who are studying at Biotechnica must not get distracted. And the same message I want to tell you, you will not be able to memorize even a single concept if you're distracted. You will not be able to aggress be aggressive in your studies if you're distracted. It is very tough to study when every other person is panicking. Okay. You have to tell everybody at home. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. Please note it down, repeat it to everybody at home that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Right now, this is a dark phase, but sun will rise again. Coronavirus will die again. Okay. It was a normal flu in 1918, which caused a pandemic. Okay. And now is 2020, another pandemic. But what we have to tell to all our people around us is stay positive, stay focused, don't panic. Panicking will not kill coronavirus, will it? Okay. Step by step, plan your day, focus on each plan of that day. Like I told you earlier download the any.do app and plan your day focus on every step things are automatically going to fall in place now whether i stay at home or whether i go out i cannot kill coronavirus same with you so what's the point in panicking right okay your area is locked down because somebody uh, was found coronavirus positive there, there can be such news don't panic because panicking will not help you rather it will kill your time it will kill your, kill your family's time. There are old people in your house who may panic because you are panicking already. Instead, you all are young people, right? You all are in, the, in that age group of 20 to 32, right? So 22 to 32, that age group should be very confident and tell others, don't worry, nothing will happen. I'm a science student. I'm a life science student. This will not touch us unless we go out, okay? So stay focused and study, right? So what did I tell you? Let me repeat. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. You have to wait for that light to happen. Okay. Now, let me tell you a story. Years ago, I was in a bank. It was a state bank of India branch. And uh, there was a lady who could not sign on the check because her hands were shaking. She had some autoimmune disease because of which her immunity was attacking her, uh, you know, skeletal muscles due to which she could not write. Thankfully, five years later, you know, a medicine came up and uh, now that she is cured or, you know, symptomatically cured, now she's happy. But if she had believed that this is it, the life has come to an end, then, and if she would have panicked, things are over, right? So without taking much of your time, let me tell you, you have to simplify your life. And if you miss these precious lockdown days, you would have lost gold. Assume that you have 82 kg gold or 85 kg gold in your house each day is one kg okay or say another 13 days are left in the i think the lockdown till 20 uh, i think 14th of april right so another 13 or 14 days are left now every day is one kg gold don't lose that gold right don't don't lose that gold utilize these precious lockdown days plan it well Push all your buttons. Okay. Now you are nothing different than a washing machine. Okay. But you're a smart washing machine. Now let me tell you this. What a washing machine does or a dishwasher does. You have to put in the stuff, press the right buttons. Then only it will clean the clothes or the dishes. Right. But you are, you are something like this. Okay. All the knowledge comes inside me. I have to push all my right buttons so that I stay motivated. Because no one else is going to come, come back to me again and say that, hey, you have to be motivated. Okay. So what I want to tell you is push all your buttons and stay motivated. After this webinar is over, you will only have a replay of this webinar. Okay. But you would have missed that time. Later on, you will start thinking, I'm feeling de demotivated. Oh my God, this is happening. That is happening. So many people dying. No matter what happens, you have to push all your buttons. Okay. You have to remember that Lakshiko Harhalme Pana hai. You are going to do that. Okay. India needs researchers like you. Okay. Doctors are fighting on the forefront 
because they don't have the right weapons. You are going to be that researcher who will make that weapon. And if that has to happen, a demotivated researcher cannot do that. Okay. I was just reading news. A lady delivered a baby and just hours before that, she delivered the coronavirus testing kit. Isn't that great? What made her do that was because she knew how to push all her buttons and keep herself motivated and focus on one thing. That is survival of humanity. And of course, she delivered a healthy baby later. Right. So you need to know how to push all your buttons. Now, let me give you an example. If watching a video gives you motivation, do that. If watching a movie gives you motivation, do that. Divert your mind at least 15 to 20 minutes or at least 45 minutes per day watching something else apart from studies and, of course, coronavirus news. Okay. That's going to help you a lot. Now, welcome the unexpected. Now, all the unexpected things are happening around us. Am I right? All the un unexpected things. What are the things happening? So many people dying, India, United States, Italy, Russia, China, everywhere, right? We have to welcome the unexpected. We have to say that, okay, it does not matter. All these unexpected things are happening. I will stick to what I do the best, okay? This is what is my mantra to you. Remember, I told you I'll give you a mantra in the beginning. This is the mantra. I will do what I do the best, okay? As a student, what do you do the best? Studying, okay? You do the best studying. So don't experiment right now with anything else. Study. Okay. Utilize your time and your efforts in the right direction. It will yield better results. Like I told you, post-coronavirus pandemic, the world will really start looking for talent like you. And if that has to happen, you have to welcome the unexpected. Stop focusing on, oh my God, what happened next? Oh my God, this happened. Oh my God, that happened. Stop panicking. Think clearly. This is the right time to focus and study because no one else can disturb me. No one else can call me. Hey, let's go to this movie. Hey, let's go to this, uh, you know, stage show. Or hey, let's go to a restaurant and uh, hang around. No, that's not happening, right? Instead of feeling bad and motivated, demotivated, stay focused. Simple mantra. Now, preparing for a competitive exam is just like weight loss regime. Okay, I've told you in my previous webinar also. Weight loss regime requires you to have an environment. You need determination, focused approach, the right tools. Of course, you need dumbbells. You need to have access to a gym. You need to have the right personal trainer. You need to put in daily efforts and self-belief. Okay. You know, I missed my exercise today because I had to prepare for this webinar and come live. But definitely, I'll not miss it tomorrow. And that's my mantra to you. Do not miss out on your exercises when you are staying at home and do not miss out on your mental exercises when you are staying at home. That is competitive exam. Competitive exam requires effort, requires environment. For example, right now I am taking this live stream. So I have kept everything around me, all these distractions around me away. Okay. So same way, create an environment around you to study. And for that, there must be a dedicated place to study where no one else enters or comes around or it should not be a highway where everybody in the house is walking around, okay? Now, determination. You need to stay focused. You have to have the right approach, focused approach. You need to have the right tools, okay? Now, a lot of people ask which books I should study. Now, standard books, on one hand, were never designed for CSIR net point of view, while the regular CSIR net books which are available in the market are not in detail, in depth, to help you solve Part C question. And to solve that problem, that is why Biotechnica designed its own printed study material. If you want that, of course, you can buy that. Apart from that, you can also access our online portal and platform, which is amazing. Let me repeat this word. It is really amazing for all those people who are really online friendly. And now you have to be online friendly because the exam is online. Now, you need to have access to the best coaching, the best mentor, daily effort, and self-belief. Now, you need to believe in yourself. You need to think clearly. You need to put in daily effort. Do not miss out your daily exercises and your daily mental exercises, physical as well as mental exercise, so that you are physically fit and mentally focused. Now, you have to find your master key. Remember I told you in the previous slide you have to push all your buttons? Okay. Apart from the button, there must be a switch on and switch off button, right? So there must be one particular song which turns you on and says, that, okay, fine, I need to study. Okay. There must be something which acts as a master key to you. Maybe it is 
your parents just by looking at them and them and you feel like okay i must do something to make them proud right you have to have that master key right for me the master key is the great emails which i get from all of you that hey it was really nice to have biotechnica on board we really loved the webinar or the reviews which you write for biotechnica anywhere that's our my master key so you have to find your master key which motivates you instantly okay it should be like coffee you drink it and you are like okay awake awake from sleep and slumber that's how you have to find that master key find your master key which motivates you instantly it's like instant coffee and that is what will be helpful in the times when you are really distracted and you need something to focus on now you cannot qualify csr net unless you make it a mission and that is why i have been telling you since last year december make it a mission make it a mission your vision i told talked about right so what's your vision vision your vision is to become that successful researcher 20 years from now now your mission for today or for the next 6 month should be you cannot qualify csr net unless you make it a mission what's your mission mission 2020 is csr net no matter what i must qualify csr net before the year changes from 2020 to 2021 right okay now let's help you build that mission so you will be needing motivation guidance support coaching write books access to the best mentors self belief and self control i think i have uh, taken a lot of time so let me quickly go to the next slide so what happens don't uh, don't give a damn on what people say okay okay this person is studying while others are worried about coronavirus doesn't matter okay you have to behave that you're a seed you are a seed like how you are seeing on the, your screen right now and you see what a seed does it explodes right it explodes all the uh, the rock and comes out right you are that seed you have a lot of potential right but you need a lot of nurturing and that's how you can achieve your goal you can break through that circumstances this rock is circumstance and you are the seed now together we all can plan execute and win and that is what biotechnica is all about we have to unite okay see today we are winning against coronavirus because we are we have united and now we are not going out same way for csr net we have to unite we have to support each other okay now that support is biotechnica we want all of you to come together connect and collaborate and succeed and that is why apart from our biotechnica regular e learner platform we have created biotechnica connect platform biotechnica connect platform you know plays a very very important role where you can all collaborate and share your notes share your you know uh, worries and discuss and come out of it okay so that's about planning executing and winning apart from that a small update for all of you we are starting a fresh batch you know on from 2nd of april 2020 free test series and video backups of all the classes will be given aimnet 2020 will be given for extensive practice 24/7 chat support will be provided for doubt solving whether you're studying at 1 o'clock at night or whether you're studying in the daytime our teachers are always online and you have to ask them questions and they will you know reply you instantly and that's how we help toppers become toppers because not everybody stays in the daytime not everybody stays uh, studies at the night time so whatever doubts you have ask any time our experts will reply instantly now you will be given access to powerpoints animations which we call it as animatica zone the flash cards the quick net revisor all these access will be given apart from that unlimited classes access to toppers platform biotechnica connect platform where you can all connect and collaborate and talk to other people from biotechnica who are studying and are preparing and of course the conceptica flowchart book i have talked about in detail in my previous videos you can always go through that so these are the few things which we are going to give to all those students who are preparing for december 2020 csr net exam now there are some people who are asking that okay we want something for the june exam so we are going to be very soon launching a crash course for them apart from that there is something called as quick net revisor which has got the lecture videos and all the important stuff inside and it's very very uh, you know cheap uh, product uh, course which we have it in uh, biotechnica uh, stores so you can go and check it out now i want to tell you that you have to take charge of your destiny in this lockdown period 
you have to understand that learning is the real earning which you can do in the next few days. We saw a huge surge in a lot of people taking the Biotechnica certification courses and I want you all also to take them. But first, focus on one point. What is that point? CSR net. Finish that up. You can take up the certification courses anytime. Even now also, if you are free, you can take that. Now, that's very, very important. You have to take charge of your destiny. Destiny is calling you. Biosciences scope is finally going to come out after this lockdown. Every government in the world is going to hire people like you or will be having proposals for projects or, you know, scientific uh, uh, projects. Why don't you be ready to apply? Why are you not trying also? You have to tr take charge of your destiny. You have to become the CEO of your own life. You have to promote higher and fire bad habits or good habits accordingly. Hire good habits, fire bad habits and promote good habits and good things around you. And then you will see, you will realize that this big thing which is coming up, I have been always telling you that something big is coming up. This is that big thing. Coronavirus COVID-19 is going to prove to the world that we need more researchers like you all. Okay, so be target driven, result oriented and focused. That's the mantra of myself being a CEO of Biotechnica. What we do here is we are very much target driven, result oriented and focused. That's the same thing you have to do today. Now, never give up. That's very, very important. I was just uh, watching something on the, uh, you know, uh, mobile and somebody said there that, OK, uh, I will not go down without a fight. OK, that was somebody who's saying about coronavirus. So same thing to you don't go down without a fight june exam fight you may get defeated doesn't matter focus on the december exam don't give up okay it's very very important thing don't give up like this tree it fell years ago but it never gave up see it has grown up again same way you have to you should not give up now biotechnica is always there for you we have been present 24 7 for all of you since 2006 Biotechnica is your library on wheels. Access Biotechnica e-learner anytime, anywhere, any number of times. That's very, very important here. Access anytime, anywhere, any number of times and take help of your experts any number of times. Okay, attend unlimited number of classes because our aim is to help you qualify the exam. Now, today is the day now that I'll transfer this uh, recording. Uh, uh, I'll be uh, transferring this uh, webinar controls to my eminent educationalist, other uh, panelists on board who will be interacting with you. And you are free to ask your queries for CSR in December 2020 in the chat box. And uh, you can learn how you can enrich your career with the add-on courses. And you have to understand that fail failure is nothing but first attempt in learning, End is not the end. It means effort never dies and no means next opportunity. OK, now with these thoughts, I wish to. So with these thoughts, I'm going to transfer these the controls to my colleague. She'll be joining you shortly. OK. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'll meet you at the end and we'll be discussing in detail about our next part, which is free downloads. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for such a motivational speech of yours. And I'm sure that all our students have benefited from such dynamic words you have said and mentioned to them. Uh, I'm sure that it has really boosted their confidence level to the bream. And I'm sure they'll come out with the real success this time in their June 2020 examination. So yes, students, myself now Priyanjana Ghosh and I will be taking over the session. And yes, today we are here on this webinar and it's it's on CSIR in 90 days. OK, it's like a countdown and uh, students like, OK, uh, am I audible to all of you? OK, OK, OK. Please confirm on that because uh, it's very much important that you can hear me, everyone. Okay, please confirm. Okay. Okay, Priti, 
साहिल निशा ओके कृतिका ओके यस यस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर फीडबैक एवरीवन सो यस वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सी एस आई आर इन नाइंटी डेज ओके सो यस फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट प्लीज डोंट पैनिक एंड आई नो दैट दिस इज रियली अ क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन वी आर गोइंग थ्रू सो यस टूगेदर वी हैव टू फाइट राइट so it's not all about it's not about our country just think of the other countries also it's about the whole world right so yes together we will we can and we shall fight this situation out right and yes we need all your support and so do not panic thinking about that so i i'm pretty sure that these things are coming up to our mind that whether your examination will be uh, like postponed like that these thoughts are definitely coming up to our mind yes yes ma'am yes ma'am i'm getting this feedbacks right on my live chat so yes don't need to panic your preparation will be like your examination will be on june only and yes always keep a positive mind that yes we need only two more weeks and yes we will be free of covid 19 correct we have to pray for it and together we have to support our uh, national leaders those who are trying each and every day so that our country get free of this particular virus okay so that we can reinstall and again reboot 2020 right so yes with a positive notion i would like to start my session today and can you see the cover slide image so we have to go through certain stages and definitely success is not a while away so you have to think analyze plan try do do again and keep on doing that means you have to keep practicing and definitely practicing will make you a successful man okay so here also you have to practice and just just think that this uh like the era of covid 19 era of corona virus is a positive or is a sign of a positivity it's giving you more and more time to analyze yourself it's giving more and more time to study correct so please take it in a positive way and just go ahead with it fine so don't be down don't get panicked and just keep and utilize the utmost of these days fine now yes so how to plan for these 90 days in this lockdown situation so we have 90 days okay and yes we are locked up in our home we are having a beautiful time at home we are having a beautiful family time also so yes i told you in the beginning of the session that just take it positively that yes god has given you this 90 days and full like you have to utilize the full 24 hour of the day each 90 days and it's definitely a golden opportunity for all of you so yes i know the other side is not a very good one it's a really it's a saddening situation currently but yes i told you we will be coping it up together okay so how to strategize yourselves in this corona era always try to use our e library i know that everyone who are by technicians we are not opened the centers has been closed so you'll not be getting the library access now so yes e library is there you don't have to worry so we will be using you can use your e library to the utmost level fine because now that is the best way uh to utilize yourself in this particular situation i would say okay practice test series like uh, everybody i'm talking about do practice questions test series previous year questions because now you're getting ample time if you keep the whole morning to evening for your study during the last uh, hour of the night like 8 to 10 you can easily uh, practice yourselves with the test series and all or any question bank book okay i would uh, try to say watch different animation videos because see uh, the more and more you get to see the animations 
you like animations available in a lot of social networking sites and uh, it will help you to understand and clear your concepts because if you see any if you visualize anything that is going to more stress or that is going to be more helpful and it, it will help you to memorize also the things so uh, that is what animations are really helpful so now i would say you have a lot of time now so you can now see the animations it will really help you i would say and for the biotechnicals do visit our animatica zone in our portal and animatica zone has a lot of animations lucrative animations for the unit wise topics from from your syllabus okay so obviously try to utilize these things now because uh, if you had been to the previous routine i wouldn't have suggested all these things to you but now you have ample time so go through these animations it will really help you out so my technicians also have access to 24/7 chat portal so they can get assistance and guidance from the faculties also now so teachers are always already uh, there to help you out in this situation also and also try to make flow charts like whenever you are studying any concept quickly make a flow chart of the same so that it will be a practice and make a notebook of the same like unit 6 you are studying photosynthesis make a flow chart of photosynthesis yes <coughs> thank so much thank you so much for the feedback yes that actually will help you asha because uh, the more you make flow charts uh the more confident uh like the process of memorization is very good by making flow charts okay so like that you make notebook of the all units like that because again and again i'm telling utilize this time this is the best time to do all these things animations making flow charts these are the uh extra accessories to help you bag your position in csir okay so time table for 90 days it's really going to help you out so yes strategize yourself see i have made 20 day slot so day 1 to day 20 if you have go for the revision of these units like unit 2 and unit 6 so i have divided the sub topics also like this that is for day 1 unit 2 and unit 6 you are going to cover 2a 6a for day 2 you are going to cover 2b 6b okay like this in first 20 days you have to complete unit 2 6 you will be taking up 3 4 because now it's almost end so you have to uh like the routine should be very compact okay now in the next 20 day you have to cover unit 1 7 8 9 10 also so likewise i have divided the sub topics 1f 7a so even i have given 2 to 3 days for a single sub topic also because some sub topics are really huge you have to take time and study so that is why i have given 2 to 3 days but not more than that and uh when you are achieved with it just give a tick mark that yes i have achieved with this routine in another 60 days you have to complete the remaining portion of 8 10 11 12 accordingly here also i have divided the sub topics and the last up till 80 days in the next 20 days you have to complete the unit 13 and start your revision and practicing questions from day 77th so day 77 to 80 you have to cover units 1 2 and 3 so from 80 to 90 you have 10 days so after practicing 1 2 3 you have 10 more units so remaining 10 days you are going to practice questions from each unit one one day like day 81 unit 4 all questions from unit 4 day 82 all questions from unit 5 like this you have to do till day 90 and yes you are only one step away from your success okay so please try to follow this format for 90 days so yes i have kept a unit wise analysis also so for unit 1 for this session i would say prepare and stress on all these units a to c it's not necessary to do but try to cover d e f g h all the parts of unit 1 okay it's very much important to cover mm -hmm.
unit 2 what all important topics to be covered i would say unit 2 all the parts are important but specially i would say st stress on c d and e questions are very important from these three parts even b and i would say if you have enough time please do part b also but stress should be given more on c d and e okay so that is why i have jot down the syllabus only from the csir syllabus okay so c d and e are must fine unit 3 unit 3 you cannot leave any of the parts all the parts are important to do because replication transcription translation you can never expect that question will be coming from only replication or transcription okay it will be coming or it might come from any part so not uh, take uh, any risk for that so please yes 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 it's sudha yes sudha uh, no replication means all the enzymes also rna polymerases dna polymerases everything you have to cover everything okay yeah you cannot leave anything because it's a very important unit yes correct all the parts it's suggested to be done from unit 5 yes it comprises of both animal and plant dev bio so animal dev bio you are going to focus on potency commitment induction specification c urchin c elegans drosophila all these uh, things amphibian gastrulation is important mammals and regeneration okay and uh, this is the important part from animal dev bio from plant dev bio you have to keep a focus on 5d and 5b also okay 5e you can omit because it's senescence only so it's not so important so please cover a to d and uh, that is b and d both are important and abc model of flower development is very important from plant dev bio so please have a stress on that extra efforts must be given to plant taxonomy taxonomy is very important from few sessions last few session questions are coming from taxonomy so please cover that okay it's very important from six if you're not doing anything i would at least suggest the two parts a and b which is photosynthesis and respiration because if you are doing a and b you're covering some part of unit 1j which is metabolism of carbohydrate and fatty acid okay so they are interlinked also but apart from that uh, apart from A and B, this time please stress upon abscisic acid, gibberellic acid, ethylene. Uh, along with that, please give a very deep focus on secondary metabolites, abiotic stress, and sensory photobiology. These are the very important topics to be analyzed and uh, stressed upon this time. Okay. Yes, uh, I would say because if you are not able to cover any other part, you have to do A and B. That is what. It has got a link with unit 1 or biochemistry, right? So if you are doing unit 6, these two parts, you are automatically being covered for unit 1 also, some part. Yes. So yes, uh, we have come to the end. And uh, I guess uh, you have benefited from this session. You got to know about the NTA format. You got to know about that how to strategize yourself in this lockdown uh, situation without panicking yourself, okay? And also, which parts of the following units to be stressed upon, okay? So, do follow what I have discussed, what I have said to all of you. And obviously, keep well, keep and stay safe and please hydrate yourself. Drink a lot of water. That is very much important and mandatory at this point of time. Okay. And please study as well. And all the best to all of you. Don't panic. We will be fighting this COVID-19 together. So let's keep a positive hope towards it. Thank you so much. And we'll wait for our next speaker to come in. So till then, please stay online, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Priyanjana, for your valuable suggestions. Now, here in this session, 
I'll be telling you about the important subunits and topics that you need to study from Unit 7 to Unit 13. Also, I'll be telling you about the books that you can refer for these units and some revision tips. As you all are aware that the exam date for CSIR UGC JRF net is 21st June 2020. So the number of days left for the preparation for CSIR UGC JRF net exam is around 90 days. So some of you might be thinking that how you can prepare for the exam in just 90 days. Like how to prepare, where to prepare, what to prepare? So students, there is no need to panic. We are already going through a panicking situation due to outbreak of coronavirus. So you should see a silver lining in this time of crisis. You can fully devote yourself to prepare for the exam. Remember, Problems will come and go. You need not to be pushed by your problems, but to be led by your dreams. So aim high. For CSR preparation, you need to aim high. That yes, you will crack CSIR net exam and definitely in future through research you will find solutions to such kind of problems that we are facing today. So let's start with unit 7 that is system physiology animal. So as you can see here this is the syllabus for unit 7 where you have subunits from A to J. Now some of you like for the applied uh, biology candidates this unit might uh, seems to be quite tough and lengthy but for the students with zoology physiology or medical background they can make this unit as a scoring advantage so there are some important topics that you can uh, prepare from this unit cardiovascular respiratory excretory endocrine and reproductive system are the most important topics from this unit so like you can prepare for neurotransmitters and different neurotransmitters and action potential. So you may expect a combined question with unit 2 with respect to membrane or unit 4 with respect to cell signaling. Then ECG graph is also important because uh, if you have seen previous years CSIR papers then definitely the question from ECG graph is asked in alternate papers. Cardiac cycle heartbeats, blood pressure, blood volume regulation and different serum content is also important. Then from endocrine system, various hormones, their secretion sites and uh, functions uh, is important. The diseases related to hormones, uh, from here also you can expect a question, match the following question can be expected. Then the kidney filtration and uh, basically uh, like you can expect a question on kidney filtration system structure and function of different parts of nephrons from here you can expect a question then gaseous exchange hemoglobin myoglobin and their behavior with oxygen with left and right shift that has been asked from reproduction uh, hormones and processes such as uh, gametogenesis and ovulation can be asked so this portion is also important and uh, from sense organs structure and function of different parts of ear is important. Now what are the books you can refer for this unit? So you can refer Principles of Anatomy and Physiology by Gerard J. Tortora. This is the important book and some other books also you can refer like Principles of Animal Physiology by Chris Moes and Trish Skult. So you can expect 
two three questions from part b and uh, four five questions from part c so this unit is very scoring as it is a theoretical unit you simply have to remember the cycles you have only have to remember the concepts so if you do so like what are the different hormones what are the disease associated with the hormones so either match the following questions or very direct questions you can expect so direct questions will be from part will be in part b and part c will comprise the questions like match the following then coming to unit 8 that is inheritance biology that is genetics and it is one of the most important units it need not to be skipped because it is very scoring and uh, like if you can see here again this unit comprises of so many subunits A to K now remember that subunit A, B and C they are mandatory why they are mandatory because it's just like as in English if you want to learn how to make words you need to be familiar with the alphabets so just remember that A, B, C subunits are the alphabets for unit 8 because if you don't know these subunits you won't able to understand other subunits other important subunits of unit 8 now among these subunits like uh, unit D and you have F that is microbial genetics and I that is mutation these are the most important subunits because definitely you will get a question on linkage maps, tetrad analysis, markers and uh, microbial genetics also is also very important and mutation is also very important. Now if you have uh, gone through the previous year's papers uh, you can uh, see clearly that uh, like from the recombination that is uh, homologous and non-homologous recombination usually the questions uh, you know they are being uh, framed now this part you can either uh, you know like you can also prepare it under unit 2 so uh, if you are preparing it under unit 2 automatically it will be prepared for uh, this unit as well from the mutation part uh, like mutational studies based questions can be expected and this portion is also covered under unit 3 so if you are preparing it uh, under unit 3 automatically this portion is prepared in unit 8 as well and uh, as I told you you cannot skip these three subunits like you need to know the basic concepts of dihybrid crosses folk line method then uh, gene mapping method as I told you linkage gene mapping you will get a question and uh, pedigree analysis is very important because in part C uh, you will get a question on pedigree analysis and uh, also QTL mapping from subunit H you can prepare. For unit 8 you can refer principle of genetics by Gardner, Simmons and Snus uh, by Willie publications and also you can refer concept of genetics by William S. Clark. Michael R. Cuming. So the expected number of questions from unit 8 there are around 4 to 5 questions from part B and uh, 5 to 6 questions from part C. So as I told you this unit is very scoring so like part B uh, very easy like they can ask a question based on gene order they can ask a question uh, like based on some autosomal uh, recessive diseases or dominant diseases and in part C they will give you a pedigree and they will ask you the questions on uh, mating uh, that is uh, um, the chromosomal uh, mat interruptive mating that is there and uh, conjugation they can ask so mostly the figure based questions are there that you need to analyze the figure and then you need to answer it so just uh, need to practice the questions and memorize the concept then coming to another unit that is unit 9 diversity of life forms now so far the questions that has been asked from unit 9 was not uh, very much but if you see the previous year paper uh, of uh, 2019 then you can easily make out that lot many questions were been asked from this sub from this unit so this is also a very important unit and uh, 
like you need to focus on taxonomic units and classification of plants animals and microorganisms and also different diverse forms of life but the challenge here is that there are a lot of scientific names taxa and you know terminologies are there so to memorize them it's seriously a challenging task so maybe like you can feel the preparation for this may be uh, time consuming and tedious but if you skip this unit it can pose a problem too because you can expect questions requiring knowledge of mixed facts from the unit and ecology and evolution as well so as you can see again unit 9 has a subunit from a to f and here you need like in subunit a you need to remember the basically like on what basis the classification is done important criteria that is used for classification in each taxa and classification of plant animal and microorganism so very direct question part b questions will be very direct and uh, also uh, like uh, the rare endangered species and conservation strategies you can expect a question then uh, common parasites and pathogens of humans domestic animals and crops this topic is also very important and uh, if you see the questions like in uh, part b they will be the statement based question very direct questions but in part c you will have the cladogram based questions so systematics uh, you need to be you need to study thoroughly uh, because uh, these questions they appear to be very uh, you know complicated but they are very easy only you need to remember the terms so for unit 9 you can refer books taxonomy of angiosperms by v n nayak and uh, prescott microbiology by joanne willy so expected number of questions from this unit is from part b 1 to 2 questions and from part c 3 to 5 questions now as i told you that if you see the previous year question paper 2019 lot many questions from part c in part c has been asked from this unit then coming to unit 10 that is ecological principles now this unit has to be prepared together for both the environmental concerns and applied ecological concept and it is again a very interesting and scoring unit so to like uh, i don't think you need to avoid uh, this uh, unit so don't skip this unit and uh, you can see uh, like uh, a very uh, important questions has been asked from this unit so you simply have to remember certain concepts and uh, why this unit is important uh, from csr net point of view because uh, you know if you prepare this unit you will also get prepared for gate ecology evolution which is one of the eligible criteria for national institutes like iiscrs and iisc and uh, to prepare for this unit you need to directly read from the standard reference books which are uh, which i'll be telling you in the next slide and uh, this unit is easy in comparison to other uh, units and uh, only you need is a good reading and analytical skill to answer the questions from this unit so here you have uh, like the important topics from where you can expect the questions are uh, like um, rnk selection is there types of interactions then edges and ecotones then you have ecological succession from here also you can expect the questions on uh, types and mechanism of successions and uh, changes involved energy cycling and uh, mineral flow primary production decomposition food web food chain then uh, you can expect a questions on biosphere reserves and sanctuaries in different uh, states of india the difference between adaptation and acclimatization recent concerns like anthropological activities global warming environmental pollution its monitoring its effect on biodiversity and also questions on project tiger then you also need to be familiar with the structure and function of some indian ecosystem terrestrial aquatic and uh, also about the biogeographical zones of india you can refer biology by campbell and rees and uh, also fundamentals of ecology 
by Eugene P. Odom and Gary W. Barrett for Unit 10. So, 3 to 5 questions in Part B and 4 to 5 questions in Part C you can expect from Unit 10. Then coming to another unit that is Unit 11 Evolution and Behavior. So, this unit is all about evolution and it comprises of highly interesting topics and this unit is very scoring as well. The only thing is you need to understand some concepts thoroughly and memorize the rest. So the important topics from where you can expect the questions are parentology and evolutionary history, molecular evolution. Then uh, other important topics are population genetics, brain, behavior and evolution. So from these topics you can expect a statement based questions and also there are certain topics from which you can expect a problem based questions. So these topics are altruism and Hardy Winberg's equilibrium. So for unit 11 you can refer organic evolution by Veerbala Rastogi and biology by Campbell and Reese. So these books you can refer and uh, from part B 4 to 5 questions and from part C 4 to 6 questions you can expect. So as I told you both the statement based questions as well as problem based questions can be expected from this unit. Then coming to another unit that is unit 12 that is applied biology. So applied biology this unit is a mixture of many topics out of which you need to focus on some important topics. So what are these important topics like you can prepare agrobacterium mediated gene transfer process because in part B and part C you can expect the questions from this topic. Then also you need to focus on application of immunological principles, types of vaccines, diagnostics and then uh, tissue culture, different uh, tissue culture requirements for both plants and animals. This topic is also important like you can expect a question on principal protocols and applications. Then transgenic animals and plants Molecular approaches to diagnosis and strain identification. These topics are also important. Then you can also expect questions on bioresources and the uses of biodiversity. That is biodiversity conservation programs. And sometimes the questions on biosensors are also asked. Then uh, you can also expect some questions on uh, marker assisted selection breeding of qualitative and quantitative trait for disease resistance in uh, plant breeding. So that is also very, this to the topics are also very important. Then uh, you can also expect the questions on PCR that is AFLP, RFLP, NEST. So usually the questions uh, which have been asked from this part is in, uh, from this topic is in part C. So statement based questions can be asked. So for unit 12, you can refer principles of gene manipulation and genomics by Primrose and Twyman and also you can refer molecular biotechnology principles and application of recombinant DNA by Bernard R. Click and Jake J. Pasternak. So here also you can expect 3 to 5 questions in part B and 4 to 5 questions in part C. Then lastly coming to unit 13 that is methods in biology. Now as you can see here this uh, unit comprises of so many subunits and these subunits they deal with all different techniques and their application. So extremely experimental questions can be expected from this unit which can uh, which will test your true research abilities and uh, also Sometimes uh, the CSR will club the questions from uh, the unit 13 as well as unit 4 like immunology and they will club the immunology question with some technique like FACS or flow cytometry. So when we talk about uh, third, these uh, subunits from A to H, so you can uh, definitely expect a question from recombinant DNA technology type of vectors and uh, you can uh, enzymes you can expect a question in vitro mutagenesis you will expect a question molecular markers you can expect then you have uh, like uh, protein sequencing and uh, genome sequencing from where you can expect the questions 
then uh, from subunit B immunotechniques so you like I told you the CSR will clap the questions like uh, fish technique or like flow cytometer or FACS they'll clap with some immunology based question subunit C deals with spectroscopy techniques so yes you need to be aware with the principle and application of each and every spectroscopy technique then subunit D uh, like not many questions has been asked from this uh, subunit so you can also skip this subunit but if you have a bioinformatic background there is no harm in doing this subunit because um, again like one or two question you can expect from here so like you can easily do them if you know what is chi square test and uh, when to use it what is analysis of variance then radio labeling technique also this subunit is important you can expect a question on radio isotopes so either match the following question you can expect or a statement based question you can expect like uh, which particle emit alpha rays which particle emit beta rays or gamma rays Microscopic techniques, then here you have freeze edge and freeze fracture method, it is important and also uh, like uh, you know again the statement based question or uh, uh, you know match the following statement can uh, question based question can be asked from this subunit. You need to know the principle and application of each and every microscopy like a very direct question they can ask like which microscopy you will use for live cells and which for dead cells. Then electrophysiological methods, here also you can expect a question on ECG, uh, MRI or uh, brain activity recording. So again you need to be aware of the principle and application of this technique. Then methods in field biology, again this is uh, the subunit which is less important because if we see the previous year CSIR papers, not many questions has been asked from this subunit. So you can skip this but you never know maybe this time you can expect a question. So it's very easy subunit you can uh, like you need to know about uh, how the different methods by which you can uh, you know estimate the density of plants and animals. So it's a theoretical subunit you can easily like you can easily memorize uh, what are the different methods for estimating the population density, uh, what is the formula for frequency and uh, for dominance. So as I told you, you can expect the questions from recombinant DNA technology and also pre-lox mechanism is important. Uh, you can expect a question from here as well. Then uh, from biophysical method that is from UV spectroscopy, you can expect a numerical based question. Then uh, radio labeling technique, this I have already told you, radio labeling, microscope big techniques and electrophysiological methods you need to be aware with the basic principle as well as application so both the statement based question and match the following based questions can be expected and yes also statistics based questions can be expected but they are very less and uh, like if you have a background of uh, statistics and uh, informatics you can easily do it then the books that you can refer for unit 13, so one is Molecular Cloning, a laboratory manual by Joseph Sambrook and Russell and also Gene Cloning and DNA Analysis by T.A. Brown. You can also refer Principles of Gene Manipulation and Genomics by Sandy B. Primrose and Richard Twyman. So for uh, unit 13, you can expect 3 to 5 questions in part B and 5 to 6 questions in part C. Now initially when you see the syllabus of CSNET exam you think that uh, I won't do it. I can't prepare for CSNET exam because the syllabus is so vast. But when we tell you about the important units and subunits as well as topics that are important from CSR point of view you feel like okay I want to do it. But again you have the question how do I do it? like how to study, from where to study, which books should I refer and uh, like what are the basic strategies I need to follow for the preparation. So when we tell you about all these things you start preparing for CSRNet exam and once you start preparing you have the confidence that yes I can do it because if you have the 
if your preparation is thorough definitely you will have the confidence and that confidence will help you in cracking csr net exam that yes i will do it and yes i did it so it all depends upon you like which step have you reached today so make sure that you move from lower step to the upper step and to reach to this step you need to be an effective student and on order to be an effective student what you all require is that you should have a regular study schedule it should not be like that that today you are studying for 6 hours but tomorrow you are not studying so don't do it like this always work at the same time each day okay make a proper time table based on your body clock like whether you like studying numerical based question early in the morning or in the evening at what time you like studying theoretical based topics so make your time table and work accordingly also whenever you are studying make sure that you choose a right place okay Do, like don't sit near the window or don't sit uh, at uh, near the tv so like you don't need to be distracted while you are studying okay so always make sure that you study in a in a regular study place your posture should be correct while studying you don't feel sleepy while studying so all that is important and also work for short period with frequent rest breaks everybody knows that nobody can study for long period of time you need to take breaks in between like for example if you are studying for 45 minutes make sure that you take a break of 5 to 10 minutes and also make sure that the break need not to be extended otherwise you will not able to again focus on whatever you are studying while you are studying review notes soon after a lecture so like whenever you are attending a class make sure that uh, you revise whatever is been done that particular day also does not leave work until the last minute whatever you are studying make sure that you complete that particular topic that day only don't leave it for the last minute otherwise you will be piled up with so many things do not get distracted nowadays so many social networking sites are there you have twitter you have whatsapp you have facebook so usually what happens now tiktok is also there so usually what happens you feel like okay i'll just answer the chat and uh, it hardly takes one minute or two minutes but when you actually involve yourself in chat you never know like one or two hour pass like that only so make sure that while you are studying you are not distracted with any of the social networking sites or uh, relatives coming to your home okay fully devote yourself for these 90 days into preparation for csr net exam and also you do not need exam for motivation why because your preparation is so thorough that you have the confidence that yes you will clear the csr net exam now as you can see here like if we see the difficulty level of life science csr net december 2019 many of the students they find it moderate the difficulty level was moderate but if your preparation is not thorough you will end up here you will end up like the students who find the exam difficult because their preparation was not proper and that is the reason they find the csr net december 2019 exam difficult so you need your preparation should be proper then let's talk about some revision tips prepare units according to weightage in exam and according to your subject as you know there are 13 units so nobody can do all the 13 units so select 7 to 8 units 7 to 8 units based on the weightage of these units in the exam like out of these 13 units there are certain units which are mandatory that are very important to understand other units as well as definitely the the units are very scoring that you cannot skip and also based on your interest you have to select 7 to 8 units from 13 units then always put small daily targets or weekly targets okay that i'll be studying unit 2 and from that unit 2 i'll be doing 
this particular topic cell cycle today so make sure that you complete the cell cycle on that particular day similarly you can make weekly targets and at least study 3 to 4 hours minimum 3 to 4 hours daily then you need to build your recalling ability by using associative memory techniques so while you are studying try to make your own uh, code words to remember the concept try to uh, you know make some tricks in solving the numerical based questions and mark the questions that you feel important or tough so that you can discuss them with your teachers and with your friends so prepare well and how you can prepare well by praying well reading well exercising well planning well asking you well asking yourself that yes whether your preparation is correct or not you are moving in. then you can make a flow chart like you can see here this is one of the flow chart draw by our student so like uh, this is about mendelian principles so like this uh, you can make a single flow chart where all the information uh, you can incorporate similarly you can draw flow charts and tables like uh, either in a form of a notes form you can write your uh, uh, you can make notes or in a form of a then conceptica is a book uh, where you find the short notes and uh, flow charts so this is the book by biotechnica where which will definitely help you in quick revision like you can see here uh, i have incorporated a screenshot from the book conceptica so it's about somatic sex differentiation where you can see it has been explained in form of flow chart and quick notes are also available then similarly you have stages of germination which has been shown in diagram form and also quick notes are shown below so this book will definitely help you in quick recall and also help in memory so i just pass on the discussion to mimala thank you Thank you, Dr. Tanushri. I hope all the students, I am audible to you and my slide is also visible, I believe. Now, since we are discussing CSI net preparation in 90 days, a very important aspect of it is time management. And uh, also the vision should be very clear. Why exactly do you want to clear CSIR? And that too, why with Biotechnica? How Biotechnica can help you achieve that dream goal, what you have of being a CSIR cleared student. So. What we understand that there are some aspects for time management. First thing is learn to prioritize. Which topic needs more attention? Which unit you have to dedicate more time? And for that also you need an understanding. Which are the important topics and which are the frequently asked topics from which questions often come. Right? You have to set deadlines. You just cannot go on preparing one topic forever. You have to set a particular deadline either a day or an hour or um, a week depending on what how much is the amount of the task that you have to achieve in that deadline okay get rid of any source of distraction uh, any unnecessary things you can postpone it for some time it's not that you don't have to you have to cut it out at all so 90 days is a very short time only three months so you have to avoid any source of distraction so, so that your complete time is dedicated to this preparation you have to use technology at the fullest so you can watch the animations or you can uh, take some uh, you can see some diagrams colorful diagrams you can make some flow charts and uh, powerpoint presentations so as much as you can you can use it for the benefit of your preparation ask for help when and if needed if you, you can ask your teachers you can approach your fellow students you can exchange topics for each other to make yourself understand and also create a time management system right so time management system a schedule is very important uh, you need not prepare a minute to minute schedule but at least a rough chalk of the day what you want to do at which hour of the time will take you a very long distance plus you have to um, focus on something so four uh, topics four um, things if you start doing right away you will see a major change in your preparation so you have to manage the short time crisis and the problems. Sometimes we have to focus on, uh, we have to immediately look to certain kind of situations. Okay. So you have to categorize which is more important and which is more urgent, right? So you have to eat, you have to do the chores of the day. So those are short term crisis and problems which you have to manage. Focus on long term strategy goals, which are important, but not urgent. So you have to look towards like what you want to do further in your career. You have to 
um, apply, start applying, or you have to at least look for when are the interview dates, when you want to apply for your research institute for interviews. Uh, so they are not so much urgent, but you keep focusing on them as well. With that focus, your preparation will be on track. Okay, if to avoid which are not urgent and not important at all. So the um, birthday parties or anything, any social function, yes, they involve emotions and you have to be social. So they are, um, they may be urgent, okay, but they are not that important and not important and not urgent. So if, while playing games or doing some social networking, which is not required, watching too much of TV and uh, at this point, uh, at this point of time, any of these is absolutely not required. So you have to limit the time wasting activities, okay. So you have to set short, short term goals. It's hard to reach your destination if you don't know where you're actually going. So you have to set the goals in order to keep track of yourself. Write to do lists. So in, you can have a, a notepad, you can write down or in your phone also you can use Evernote just to make you reminders that you need to do this, you need to achieve this, you need to complete this topic. That will give you a cross check on yourself. You have to prioritize, decide what tasks need to be accomplished first. This will help you plan your week. Again, it is based on what are the important topics of the syllabus. Budget your time. You have to create a weekly schedule to help you decide how much time to spend on the activities, rest and the work. So you cannot, uh, uh, at this point of time of the preparation where 90 days is left, you cannot afford a uh, comfortable 8 to 10 hours of sleep. So you have to cut down 6 hours of sleep. So like that, you have to make a weekly schedule that I will get up at this time. I will uh, start studying at this time. So you have to make a schedule and put emphasis on the activities rest and work find a dedicated space and time so have a dedicated space free from distraction where you can get your work done you can isolate yourself in a room for some time or you can study when others are sleeping so you have to you cannot give excuses at this point of time you have to make your own space and dedication don't be afraid to say no as i said sometimes you have to decline the social activities to make time to study so if you if there's a gathering or um, if there is a party you can always be very polite and you just postpone these activities once you are done with this exam then you can apply for the phd interviews and once your career is at least going somewhere then you have ample amount of time to focus on the other things okay then you have to plan your preparation time as i said you have to do some unit and topic time slots on rotation so if you are studying let's say unit one in the morning so in the afternoon time or evening time, you can st uh, study unit 2. So like that, assign day slots for units in a week and assign hour slots for the subunits in a day. So if morning time is for unit 1 biochemistry, so under that, okay. So um, this uh, initial 4 hours, I'll study amino acids and then the next 4 hours, I'll concentrate on the protein part, okay. Study not more than 2 units in a day and that is try to study 2 similar kind of units. So if, uh, for example, you can study the uh, biochemistry part and uh, you can also on um, you can study the unit 4 and unit 5 that is cell signaling and the developmental pathways so they will be kind of related topics okay so divide the time slots for different activities under a topic as well uh, so if four hours is for amino acids do not end up just studying from the book completely and um, overspend your time allotted time so first you have to see just the overview you can flip through the books or uh, journals or papers whatever you are st studying whatever is your study material and then just skim through the topics and the diagrams and the subtopics the explanations means the uh, explanation under the diagrams just understand the concept okay superficially what is this then you can go through some questions from the topic from the previous year questions and make note of the subtopics which are not able to solve or grasp so after that, if you find any question that you are not able to figure out from where exactly it is asked, you can write those subtopics and then you can do some further study. So after that, you try to understand the concept. Once you have seen the question means you, you your interest will be, you will be more curious to find the answer. So your preparation will be much better. Third, you have to solve more questions on this topic, maybe at the end of the book or some practice papers so till the time you are not getting all the correct answers you have to keep on doing this and confidently develop the con conceptual clarity because for part c questions this clarity is very much important for concepts fourth slot you can revise what you have studied the previous day maybe the previous day you would have studied some stabilizing interaction in biomolecules or some bonding chemical bonding so you can just revise what you have studied the previous day so revision is a very important aspect as well for success in this exam 
many people have seen they are, they don't know what to do with the question paper okay they even they even don't know what is the pattern they don't know what is the syllabus so getting to know the syllabus have a hard copy of the syllabus all the time so that you can track your preparation and uh, since we are talking about time management you should be knowing what exactly you are targeting for okay so uh, in this 200 marks question paper you have to solve 65 to 70 percent if you are getting it's a guaranteed grf for you and if you are getting 55 to 60 percent it's a guaranteed ls that means at least you try to score 120 marks out of 200 and you tr uh, at least try to score 140 marks out of 200 okay even 135 will keep you in a safer spot but uh, uh, just to give you the more um, edge so try to get a 140 so if you want to clear that 140 question you have to you have to uh, focus on the questions what you have to solve so you you all know that you have to solve 15 questions from part a 35 questions from part b and 25 questions from part c now if you just look at getting 140 marks if you can solve at least 20 questions from part c correctly so you you are already 100 marks is settled okay then from part b if you can solve another 20 marks so already so just 20 questions you have to solve 35 you have to solve but even if you don't solve 35 you just solve 20 correctly so already you will get 40 marks so as you can see here with very less effort and uh, uh, as you know there are 75 questions out of that you have to solve only 25 and that to just get 20 marks correctly so you will already have your 140 marks so even then if you lose one or two from negative marking so that will be done by part a okay because part a also you will solve at least five questions so you will have 150 marks okay and from that maybe some 10 to 15 marks also if it goes for negative marking still you have the uh, chance of clear clearing the grf so you need to be aware of the question paper before exams what you need to do you have to manage your time you to get those top rates you have been always working hard for so you have to set your priorities, you have to make a study schedule, you have to keep revising, mock exam practice and you have to create the exam hall environment. So just before the exam, lock yourself up, you set a timer, 3 hours, take previous year question papers and um, and try to create that sense that when that panic or anxious, you will tend to get very panicky during the exam. So if you practice it at least 2 months before that. Uh, every Sunday you can practice one one question paper then that is going to give you a lot of confidence okay so sleep early and wake up early this also is not going to happen in one day before the exam so at least before two weeks uh, you have to make a habit of sleeping early and getting getting up early because if you wake up at 9 and then you go to give your exam at 10 then your brain is still not awake so that might hamper your performance in the exam instead if you get up at 6 and then uh, you have a habit of getting at 6 and then ob obviously on the exam day also you will get up at the same time after that you have a very healthy breakfast not a very heavy breakfast but something which can uh, which will help you perform well but not make you sleepy so after that if you go to the exam hall you will see that your performance has increased so what you have to do is you have to train your brain for the d-day so you have to do practice tests and uh, you have to keep revising before that also keep separate slot so at the end time so one week before the exam all you have to do is just keep on revising and solve question papers try not to keep any new things to study at this uh, before the one week of the exam okay so finally when it's time for exam no need to pack panic you have to just plan you have already planned you have already prepared now it's the time to execute out okay so there are some uh, you have seen this 70 minutes 70 minutes is all you have so what you know the crucial 70 minutes just before the final match is what motivated them and helped them to get the best out of them right so the thing is you have to know how to perform in a given time, time period no matter how much you've prepared you have to prepare for the d-day uh, just to ensure that you get the best out of yourself in that three hours okay so for the efficient time management tips you have you have to avoid when you are in the exam hall so time management is there during preparation also and also during the exam as well okay so you have to avoid people who are panicking around you they are not helping you out you will see many people getting all their tools and getting notes at the last last moment of the exam so all these are very unnecessary and you don't have to look at them maybe your preparation is far more better than those people who are studying at the last moment you have to set a deadline for each section as well so for this you will need a watch so always carrying a carry a watch but then now you have the uh, nta format so already a watch will be there with you so start with scanning all the questions carefully and quickly plan which questions you are going to opt first 
uh, you can just see the at the side there will be the question numbers so just click on the questions and just check out what topics they are from so uh, roughly you can just assign five minutes for this and uh, select out which questions you are going to in your head itself which questions you are going to um, uh, uh, attempt okay so set your time frame such that you have at least 10 minutes left to go through the entire question paper once you are done so revision is very important if you have not marked any question a known question then you will miss out the known answer so it's very essential or also if you have marked the incorrect uh, option or um, if anything is unanswered so you have to keep that 10 minutes just to ensure you have the maximum marks according to your knowledge start with the easy ones and you can speed up gradually so once you have skimmed through all the questions at least have a look at it you will know that okay i knew this question start with that it will help you gain confidence okay you can uh, you can attempt some part b questions also just for the sake of it uh, so that they are easy also and they will be done very fast as well so you can cover a lot of questions in a very small amount of time do not invest your time and energy than you planned on a particular section so you have the time frames for each sectional division how you can give in a in the exam three hours i'll be telling you so don't end up running out of time to answer those questions if you have a dedicated amount of time for a particular section ensure to finish it within that time itself do not outrun it okay also it is advisable to leave any question that you're uncertain about for the end so do not get struck in the question and move on also do not take it a prestige issue that i have spent already three minutes on this let me solve this only why i'm not able to solve it it's not a prestige issue you can carry on okay you your main aim is that 140 marks which i told you if you are attempting for jrf so in case you go blank and your brain freezes simply uh, start writing anything and you will soon start remembering more details it happens with many students suddenly nothing they can remember okay so what you do is pick out a very simple question and just start writing some keywords in it in the paper they will give you a notepad i guess so just try, start writing something in it some formula some unit or just write what you know about it okay for example protein polypeptide chain peptide bond so whatever you know just observe the structure or the word and draw something scribble something that will help you get back into track always clarify what you are doing pay attention to the key terms and the information so start to correlate the answers options whether they are actually matching with the uh, with the question or not and uh, instead of going through the question very vaguely you try to focus uh, like uh, kind of like a zoom uh, magnifying glass as if it's there in your in your eyes set in your eyes okay so every time you look at the questions you are just picking up the keywords for example when you look this when when you look at this as a whole suddenly you your brain your word should immediately click on that okay brain freezes so even without reading the entire thing at least try to get a gist out of it okay so that will help you save save a lot of time you would not believe how many people miss out on entering their exam details in the omr correctly so always keep that in mind so here you have to fill up online now in the nta format so you are you have to um, be very careful about what you are filling up and you cannot make mistake in that so all these things will come how you have prepared for the d day as i said you wake up early your brain is active and you have prepared for this uh, creating the exam hall environment so do not worry you have prepared your best you just have to perform so never leave an exam early try to utilize every minute of the exam if you have some time left you can go back at the beginning and review each answer thoroughly so before giving the paper also you should be i mean before submitting the paper also you should be checking again and again whether you have filled up everything correctly or not so the most important thing is you have to stay calm and just keep solving okay you you don't see a sea of questions ahead of you when will i finish will will it get over so you just keep some sectional deadlines and automatically you will see that you have achieved what you required to so what to do with the question paper as i said the question paper means i just mean to say um, the online form so just roll your eyes all over all the questions once as i said um, just click on one question you will be able the question will be displayed on the on the screen so just look at the screen and just see what Uh, topic is it it is from you don't have to solve the question then and there okay so this will give you a rough idea of uh, what you are going to do in the next 3 hours so the worst mistake you can do in a competitive exam is not reading all the questions nowhere um, does it say that the questions are in any order of difficulty okay so you cannot tick the question but this is what mentally ticking so quickly you can just keep a tick on the questions which you are supposed to answer okay without you don't have to count like okay i have to solve 20 questions you don't have to do that just put a small 
tick in your head that okay, I'll be solving this question. While answering a particular question, read, read it. Okay, link options to the question as well to your previous knowledge as well. So you have to frame a mental diagram. If there is an experimental question, what is happening? Okay, we are putting this into the solution. We are centrifuging it. What is the effect of what we have put and whether it will come to the in the pellet or in the supernatant. So all this you have to frame a mental diagram. You can even draw it on the paper. And most important thing is identify keywords in a question because the part C questions are really big. So you may not be able to concentrate. So reading the question properly only will take you three minutes and that is a lot in the exam. So you have to scan the important words and the keywords that will definitely help you save a lot of time. Okay. So you have to set milestones also. As I said, there should be a sectional division. Break up the test into smaller portions. So you say your test is three hours long. So have milestones for every 30 minutes. Like where you should be at 30 minutes or one hour or 1.5 hours. And that you have to set some realistic milestone. Just do not uh, keep like I'll solve the entire part scene one hour. That is not possible. Okay. So if you are behind a milestone, it is a red flag. So once you have given a sectional timing, ensure you finish within that time. So if you are able to justify it being behind a milestone, it means you did not set it, re set it realistically. So set milestones based on practice. What you have practiced in the previous um, preparation time, uh, what hours you have set for part C, part B. So set milestone according to that only in the proper exam hall also so not any other way don't try new ways so your milestone should be formed based on your practicing mock tests all right so what are the sectional order of answering generally this is what i advise it's your personal choice so it is advisable to answer the part c first because they are the maximum scoring so 90 to 100 minutes you can keep for that one and a half hour or so it can be dedicated for this section okay so section b should be next as these are very short and very uh, straightforward questions so even in this also you have you can choose like which answers are easier for example match the following questions are easy so like that okay and the major chunk and then graphical questions you have to just observe and give the result so these things are um, more scoring and it can be answered very easily it will gain give you confidence okay so major chunk of questions will be done in a short time for part b so you can just give some 45 to 50 minutes for that all right you again as i said just remember uh, 20, 20 to 25 questions minimum you have to solve yes you can go up to 35 questions also but this is what is your target at least 20 part c questions and uh, 20 to 25 part b questions so immediately you try to solve this and keep your scoring safe Section A questions are tricky, hence you have to keep a segregated slot of 30 minutes for this section and keep the last 10 minutes for revision and ensure that you have not missed out marking the known questions. So as I said, uh, 30 minutes uh, of section C is more than enough. You can just look at solving some 5 to 10 questions. No need of going for 15 questions. So this is not a hard and fast rule that you have to solve all the questions. Okay. Yes, definitely your, if your preparation is way above uh, average and you're targeting for the prize amounts and uh, the um, SPM fellowship. So all that is a different issue. But yes, if you are a regular student and you want to just clear the CSI JRF, then this is at least the minimum you want to do. Once you, once you have achieved this, after that you can go for answering more. Okay, and keep the last 10 minutes for ensuring that you have not missed out any known questions. So that will be a very regretful situation when you come back. Okay, so have hard deadlines. So competitive exams rely on accuracy and speed. So accuracy implies that you have to score high overall and are not on any particular section only particularly so if you have a question is taking too long to answer as i said you can just skip skip it for them so how do you decide what's too long and um, you have to have hard deadlines for a question so this you would need to decide based on your test mock tests okay you can have a deadline in terms of minutes also like if i am able to solve a question in three minutes i'll skip it no matter what so again three minutes it's not even look at the clock continuously you will have a mental clock in your head okay <coughs> Some more useful tips. So do not spend more uh, more time on a question. If you are not able to solve a part C question in 5 minutes, you are supposed to skip it 5 to 6 minutes. And part B question at 3 minutes means you should be skipping it. Target the qualifying marks and accordingly skipping unsure questions to avoid any negative marks. 
so, so the best way is uh, only if you are 100% sure for a question then only you try to answer it if you are not sure do not answer until and unless you are not going to the target question for example you have answered 19 questions in part c and you are seeing two to three questions which you are not that sure of but since you are not going over to your target question number set so then you can take a risk in attempting it but you have already answered 20 21 questions in part c and then you are unsure of the rest three so try not to answer it okay selection of questions to solve from the question paper so as i said you don't have to solve all questions you have to select out you can answer from the units which you have prepared or the type of questions which you uh, which you are more sure of like match the following or true or false target more match the following and graph based questions also graph based questions are very easy to analyze you don't need previous concepts for that sometimes the answer is in the experiment result itself what has been given in the question you just have to analyze it well so be very careful about the true false uh, statement combination questions combination is they will give you from combined units maybe you will get a protein sequencing question which has concepts from uh, unit 1 also unit 13 also so if you have not prepared unit 1 and you have just studied protein sequencing it's be better not to answer it okay try to avoid related combination unit questions unless you are sure of the answer all right so uh, for that also you need to know which units can have combined questions so all that knowledge somebody should be there to guide you all right now the question is why do you need to join coaching classes for the preparation so they have a lot of perks okay first of all there's a huge syllabus in csir it's very difficult to cover in less time so coaching classes help you focus on the main important things because teachers are very much experienced so you have to listen to them what they say is important so uh, and also from any unit subunits so they will pick up some particular topics which require emphasis Plus, they help students monitor their interest and the aptitude. They will they will give you the choice. If you want to prepare this unit, you can, or else you can just skip to the unit which you think you will be able to answer better. Okay, you don't have to forcefully learn any unit. There are thirteen units you can select from. So accordingly, you can choose your interest. You, are, you they will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses. You are not good at mugging up. So in that case, they will fo ask you to focus on the concepts so that you can clear more part C questions. If you are not good in mugging up, they will give you some easy to remember techniques like making flow charts uh, making some short notes like that they will provide students with better understanding of concepts your teachers already know it they have studied the books they have given the exams they have qualified it their concepts are there in their head so they can deliver it in a very short period of time and that too with accurate information which might take you an hour or so just to get it from the book by yourself so definitely coaching classes are going to be benefiting for you helps in making an organized study pattern so they will give you a timetable or a schedule accordingly you will be on track okay and that is when you, you will be focused you will have a direction and you can concentrate on your work because everybody else is preparing with you uh, so the other students in the coaching class you will want to be in pace with them you want to be in the pace of the class so automatically it will give you a focus and direction on the other hand if you're just preparing on your own you might not know where you are heading to you might become lazy you might become distracted so coaching classes keep you on track very much now the question is why join biotechnica right so if you just google um, the best coaching center for csir life sciences in india just check out what is the result you are getting so uh, do you need any more other reason and that too 957 google reviews getting 4.8 star rating i understand reviews uh, cannot be that trustable but then not in this much amount right obviously there must be something so it's not only in bangalore it is in noida also kolkata also chennai also and uh, pune also you can you can get your and even online coaching as well so it's not that it is place restricted you have various centers at various places if you don't have in your city you can just join online classes as well right so what are the benefits of biotechnica coaching so first of all you have the teaching with best available it tools you have the best available faculty members also the panel doctorates uh, with the 10 years 12 years of experience and also um, net qualified gate qualified they've already given the exams icmr dbt and they know what is the pattern of this competitive exams easy to remember learning methods so they will create some help some flow charts flash cards all this will be there with you it will, it will be available uh, to you if you want to avail these benefits animatica so showing you animations of the concepts 
plus weekly test and monthly test for regular monitoring. Every week you will have the test, every month you will have the CSI pattern question which is called as quest. So that will uh, also in the lectures as well you will get some revision and practice in between the lectures. It's not just continuous boring lectures. Uh, so after a unit is over or a subtopic is over the uh, previous year questions will be discussed regarding that okay online class option is also available if you are a homemaker you are a mother or you are working uh, you cannot come to the classes you are in a city where classes are not conducted so for all of them online class option is also available 24 7 chat support whether in the tech tech uh, technical problems issues or academic any small doubt if you are having if you just send the screenshot and the question type the question you will get uh, almost immediately the uh, response to it okay so video recordings of the classes lectures are also available that is the most important part and uh, even you will get the all branch recordings okay if you are uh, if you if you join by technica it's not that only your branch recordings you will be getting you will get access to the study portal which contains all the ppts ebooks question papers video recordings as i said and even the flowchart flash uh, flashcards if you avail for those options as well and not only that even after clearing exam we can also help you prepare your resume or preparing for the interview or where to apply so all these things are definitely the benefit and even this speaks for itself the testimonials that we have you can just go on youtube and you can just search if you didn't know we have the csir uh, seventh rank grf with us the gate fifth rank and the eighth rank you can ask them how biotechnica has helped them from scratch they were not very high fi students but then they were able to clear such a high fi ranking with the help of biotechnica okay and uh, even after even before uh, even after clearing also so as you can see uh, joint cf TRI and uh, they were they were very satisfied with the guide and the and the work so they thanked biotechnica team for helping them reach that stage right so this is a video which is uh, uh, just see a video for the seventh rank how it has helped uh, the student gain in that particular rank right hi i'm gurpreet kaur i have qualified csir net with all india rank seven before joining Biotechnica, I was totally clueless about how to prepare for this exam. But through wonderful teaching and guidance of Biotechnica teachers, I was able to prepare very well and secure a very good rank. Through monthly and weekly tests of Biotechnica, I was able to track my progress and work on my mistakes. Also, Biotechnica gave us the provision for, of chat support, which was available 24-7. So whenever I had any doubts in mind while studying at home, I used to chat with my teachers and get my doubts clarified. I have secured rank 7 not only through my hard work and constant support of my family but also through proper direction given by Biotechnica. I thank my teachers at Biotechnica and the whole Biotechnica team for helping me achieve my goal. Thank you very much. And um, obviously, if you are armed with the right weapons and the right planning, you can defeat the entire mammoth, the giant mammoth called that CSIR exam. But the thing is, you have to plan ahead well, right? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to our newsletter. You can also get this Biotechnica Times. It has a lot of articles. And newsletter will give you much information about what exams or jobs or interviews, everything which is happening in the life science field. Okay, so all the best students. It was great talking to you all. Thank you for your time and patience. Over to my host, uh, Shekhar sir. Thank you. All right, so that was really, really helpful by our experts. I hope you enjoyed the interaction and the webinar. Now that we come to an end, of our workshop i urge you all to join our mission 2020 batch okay i want you to start preparing in a smarter manner okay and i want you to join our mission 2020 batch and looking forward to you your uh, interaction okay also there's no harm in failing you have to keep trying 
failing is an opportunity to begin again more intelligently that's uh that's not me saying that's henry ford you have to start focusing on failing every day that means trying questions every day practice 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 as much as you can and that's where you can you know get better at csr at exam csr at exam is all about failing every day and you have to pass only once okay so don't stop when you're tired stop when you're done now in the chat box my team will be giving you the links okay for the free downloads and if in case you don't get the link or maybe if you're watching this uh as a recording later not as a live stream you can always you know contact us on info at the rate biotechnica.org let me quickly write that for you info at the rate b i o t e c n i k a dot o r g okay so that's the email id in info at biotechnica.org and then you can uh, get the downloads if in case you don't get it anyways we have giving you the links in chat okay if in case you want to prepare for csr with us this is a toll free number or you can also email us to at info at biotechnica.org and we will be right there okay so thanks a lot to all my panelists today wish you all the best all of you it was really a pleasure interacting with all of you remember this is not adversity this is opportunity all the best to all of you have a great day ahead